Welcome to Megasys, a private, joint, Iranian and Venezuelan partnership to bring this market, the first of its kind, to Venezuela. Next year, there's a plan to build five more of these supermarkets across the country. It's caught the attention of U.S. officials, with Acting Assistant Secretary of State Michael Kozak accusing Caracas and Tehran of playing games in their efforts to bolster economic ties. Meanwhile, the Wall Street Journal has cited dubious sources in order to tie Megasis to Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, which the Trump administration has listed as a terrorist organization. We came here to find out what's really inside. Roughly 68% of the products inside Megasys are imported from Iran, but these products behind me represent the 32% produced here in Venezuela. Megasys imports products from Iran based on its analysis of the Venezuelan market, having conducted a survey of consumers in the country prior to its launch. This looks like an Iranian version of ramen noodles. Behind me, we've got a bunch of Iranian cereal, which you can see looks similar to what we have in the United States. Their version of Cocoa Puffs, Fruit Loops. Megasys doesn't only have food, it actually has around 15 different departments beyond just the butcher and fruit and vegetables and a bakery. These are some Iranian toys for sale. There's also textiles and basically any common household product you could want. They even sell imported carpets from Iran and its neighbors. This section is a perfect representation of the collaboration between Iran and Venezuela on this supermarket. Right here we've got some Venezuelan made diapers, and here an Iranian made. In this aisle you see a wide variety of shampoo, hair products, and feminine products as well. What's so remarkable about this grocery store is that both Iran and Venezuela are under crushing sanctions, an effort led by the United States to prevent the production of these types of products. And yet we've seen how these nations have come together and actually built a store providing these things for the people of Venezuela. Iran's opening of Megasys and its plans to expand in Venezuela sends a message to Washington that both countries are finding ways to circumvent the impact of U.S. unilateral coercive measures, or sanctions, levied against both of their populations. A recent article in the Wall Street Journal laments the fact that, quote, Iranian companies are increasingly producing the sorts of goods that Iran had previously imported from abroad, and that Iran's non-oil industry gross revenues have grown 83 percent in recent years. Megasys is just one example of the kind of resiliency that has enabled both countries to withstand crushing U.S. sanctions. Throughout 2019, Iran repeatedly broke a U.S. blockade of Venezuela, delivering over 1.5 million barrels of light crude to the country in exchange for gold. The oil shipments were needed in order to combat a fuel shortage spurred by U.S. sanction policy. Venezuelan Foreign Minister Jorge Ariasa tells me the average citizen in his country can feel the benefits cooperation between Caracas and Tehran have brought. I believe that because Iran has suffered sanctions, they have a lot to teach us. And we have learned. And when they saw that we were going over the same pain that they did, uh, that they have been for so many decades, they opened their arms, just as President Chavez did 14 or 15 years ago. We sent crude to, and, and to, to Iran as well. So we are working in many different areas. Some projects are very obvious, like <clears throat> the, the gasoline, the, the crude, and uh, the food also, but some others we have to 
make more confidential because if we show them, they will be persecuted and they will be blocked. So, but uh, I must say that people are feeling it when when you go to your with with your car to a gas station. It's really probable that that gasoline comes from Iran, and uh, many of the products, some of the products of the club boxes, also come from Iran. So it's something that we are really feeling in in the in the concrete reality of the Venezuelans. According to management. Between four and five hundred shoppers visit Megasys on a daily basis, with a slight pickup in traffic on the weekend. Prices were listed primarily in dollars, and are comparable to the rates you'd find at other supermarkets in Caracas, if not cheaper. While Washington and its allies in corporate media portrayed Megasys as cover for a nefarious base of terror. My experience at the Walmart-style superstore suggested that the U.S. was using terror hysteria as cover for an economic war aimed at preventing basic trade between two sovereign governments it seeks to topple. The following is a CNN CIA news alert with U.S. regime stenographer Dick Patton Walsh. I've, I've been undercover for several days and I'm being tailed by friendly people handing me treats. Now I'm potentially Mukhabarat agents. Now, CNN undercover arrives to the clothing section of Megasys, where we see shorts with elastic waistbands. Possibly the next phase of Iranian expansionism. <laughs> <laughs> 